हमारा बहुत ही क्लियर स्टैंड है आप अगर पिता है तो बेटा को जो प्रॉपर्टी का राइट दे रहा है इक्वल शेयर ऑफ बेटी को भी दे दीजिए उसमें कोई हमारा कंफ्यूजन नहीं है तो आसाम गवर्नमेंट का माइंड हर इश्यू में वेरी क्लियर एंड शार्प है कि आप तलाक मत दीजिए आप लीगली डाइवोर्स दीजिए अगर मिया और बीबी एक साथ रहने का समय तक जो भी आप प्रॉपर्टी एक्योर किया था उसका 50 परसेंट अधिकार वाइफ को दीजिए नंबर वन नंबर टू आप तीन तीन शादी मत कीजिए एक शादी कीजिए Oh right, let me also now go across to Zina Chokat Ali joining us on this broadcast uh, and uh, Zina Chokat Ali how would you respond to what the chief minister Hemant Biswas Sharma mes message has been to the muslim community he says that the muslim man shouldn't marry thrice Hello Ma'am can you hear me Yeah, I, I just got cut off. I'm sorry, I just got cut off. Tell me, yes. He so the what? chief minister of Assam, Hemant Biswas Sharma, has yeah. a message, a clear message coming in from him to the Muslim community, saying that a Muslim man shouldn't marry thrice. Okay, yes. So how would you respond to that? I know. I think that is very much in keeping with the Holy Quran because the Quran does not, you know, the, in the Quran, polygamy is a restrictive ordinance. Out of the six thousand six hundred and sixty-six verses, odd verses in the Holy Quran, only one refers to polygamy, and that also it was revealed in the battle of Ahad when women were destitute and they had children, they had nowhere to go. So, in in a society where a man could have any number of wives and any number of relationships, it was cut down. And it did not say that you marry for. He said, and uh, it goes on to say that it restricts it. And then in the in verse 27 of the same surah, number four, surah Nisa, it goes on to say that you can never deal, you know, you can never deal uh, emotionally, uh, you know, equitably with all of them. So therefore, it's pointing only towards one. So as far as Islam and the Quran is concerned, I think. in this clause you know one has to one has to see that the quran is not saying anything different hmm. plus there are many countries in the world who have followed this law absolutely you know, Uh, thank you, Ms. Zina Chakrat Ali, for joining us here on this broadcast. Let me also now go across uh, to uh, Aminul Islam, who is from the AIU DF on the phone line. Uh, how would you respond, to Mr. Islam, to what the Chief Minister of Assam is stating? He says that the Assam government is very clear that no Muslim man should marry three different women. Actually, question is that Mr. Hemant Biswas Sharma is trying to be a leader of uh, India now, all over India. He is just ultimately advocating in favor of the Sharia Act, the Sharia Act, and he wanted to establish it the unified civil court for the whole of the state. So, so you, if he if he is saying something the rights of the women, hmm. then you go to the Meghalaya. Why the boys are not getting their property share of his fathers? And you go to the Nagaland. There is another customary law: the women and the girls are not 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 holding the property share of uh, his father. Is three daughter of a father. This three daughter is not get the benefit of the his father's property. Then his brother's son will be uh, get the property right. So, so India in India there is a main various laws relating to the separate customary laws and uh, various groups of the separate in uh, in right. various places. And you see, ultimately he is uh, claiming, uh, he is demanding, he is in favour, he is advocating. In favor of the unified civil court. So ultimately, no Muslim, no non-Muslim has right to interfere the Muslim community. Uh, it is a Muslim. If, if there is no problem with the Muslims, hmm. then why he he what is why he is acting? If you want to give, but he is also to... speaking about as to how there has been a, a need for equal share of property uh, as far as daughters are concerned, and that's what our legal system and courts also say at this point that give that fifty percent share to the property to the wife and do not marry three times. No question is that it is not the way. Ultimately, in fact, stay with us. Let me also now go across uh, to Abdul Khaliq uh, on this broadcast, who is a Congress MP. Mr. Khaliq, how would you respond to Hemant Biswas Sharma, who is now, in fact, sending out that clear message stating that a Muslim man should not marry three times? Look, the first thing is that 
जो मुस्लिम पुरुष जो एक से ज्यादा मैरिज करते हैं ये एक्सेप्शनल है जस्ट प्रोविजन है आजकल जो पलीगमी है ये बहुत रिड्यूस हो गया है बहुत टूट गया है आजकल नॉर्मली नहीं करते हैं लेकिन ये बात हिंदू या मुसलमान का नहीं है ये पोलीगमी मेरा पर्सनल राय है पोलीगमी बंद होना चाहिए हिंदू हो या मुसलमान हो और सिर्फ मैरिज क्यों जो मैरिज के बाहर रिलेशन रखते हैं वो भी बंद होना चाहिए किसी किसी को चार पांच छह सात गर्लफ्रेंड रहते हैं वो भी बंद होना चाहिए और जहां तो प्रॉपर्टी का बात है पर्सनली मैं भी मानता हूँ डॉटर को बेटी को प्रॉपर्टी का हक मिलना चाहिए ये डिबेट तो होना चाहिए बेटी को प्रॉपर्टी का शेयर मिलना चाहिए और जहां तक शर्मा जी वाइफ के बारे में बोला ये तो पहला तो ये प्रधानमंत्री जी से शुरू करना होगा हमारा बहन हमारा माता जी जशदा बहन जी का वो प्रॉपर्टी मोदी जी का जो प्रॉपर्टी है उसका हक मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा वहां से शुरू होना चाहिए वहां से अगर शुरू होगा सब कुछ ठीक है लेकिन खलील जी ये भी एक कंटेंशन आ रहा है हमने एक एआईडीएफ लीडर से बात की उन्होंने ये कहा कि आप हमारे चीजों में क्यों दखल अंदाजी कर रहे हैं जब मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी को इसे इससे एतराज नहीं है तो देखिए मैं निजी राय बताया मैं अपना जो राय है मैं ये बताया ये डिबेट तो शुरू होना चाहिए हिंदू या मुसलमान का बात नहीं है हमारा बेटी को हक मिलना चाहिए मेरा पर्सनल ये फुल पर्सनल ओपिनियन है बेटी का प्रॉपर्टी का हक बेटी को मिलना चाहिए लेकिन जो वाइफ के बारे में बोला वो प्रधानमंत्री जी से शुरू होना चाहिए क्योंकि जशोदा बेन जी का मोदी जी का जितना प्रॉपर्टी है उतना पहले तो प्रधानमंत्री जी दृष्टांत वो स्टाब्लिश करना चाहिए जो वो जशोदा बेन जी को सारे प्रॉपर्टी मोदी जी